Hello everyone. My name is Jin Seok Park from Agents for Defense Development. Four years ago, I moved my job in Agents for Defense Development called ADD in South Korea. And today I will talk about some PIFR simulation of flow around the missile using missile. This is the content of my talk. I will briefly introduce the ADD and my work in here. Then I will mention some issue in missile aerodynamics. And I will show two, I think maybe two simulation result, result and conclude my talk. Uh, Agents for Defense Development, ADD, is the National Institute for Development of Defense Science, Science and Technology in South Korea. Uh, this is the snapshot or, of our web page. And you, as you can see, we are developing all kinds of weapons, including missile, missile, radar system, tank, battleship, and unmanned area vehicle, and so on. Um, ADD is located at Daejeon. This is the map of South Korea. And here is China, and here is Japan. And the capital of South Korea is here, Seoul. And Daejeon is almost the center of South Korea. And as well as ADD, there is a many national laboratory. So Daejeon is a, a kind of science city in South Korea. In ADD, our team is foc focusing on the aer missile aerodynamics. We are using various methods, in including semi-empirical method and CFD, and we also conduct wind tunnel tests. These are our major wind tunnel facilities. Our low-speed low wind tunnel has four by uh, three by one, three by two meter test section. And we also have trisony wind tunnel, uh, which has four by four feet test section. And using this adjustable nozzle, we can provide the subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flow in test section. Recent recently, we built a new transonic wind tunnel whose test section is about four by two meter. And as well as wind tunnel test, at, at the end of our development stage, we also conduct some flight tests. So we can validate our simulation results and wind tunnel test results with the real flight data. And we also have many computing power. And three years ago, we bought a GPU cluster, and which is 40 NVIDIA Tesla GPU, Tesla P100 GPU, um, which is more than 200 double prison teraflops. Before I ran the PIFR simulation, I conduct a, a quick scaling test. This is the weak scaling test on our machine. And when I increase the number of GPU as well as the size of problem, we can see that normalized time is almost constant. And when I use 32 GPU, I can get about 95 double prison teraflop, which is the more than 55% theoretical peak plot. And this is the strong scaling result. In here, I fixed the problem size, but I, when I increase the number of GPU from four to 30, to I can get more than six times speed up. So PIFR is still running very well in our supercomputer. So I will use this, I will use it. Now I briefly mention some issue in missile aerodynamics. So the conventional missile is quite simple. It has no cylinder, cylindrical body and control fin and sometimes canard or wing. The finest ratio of missile is quite large. So for 
when the angular vertex is low, we can simply use the linearized and slender body theory. Um, it works in acceptably to lab accuracy in preliminary design stage. And this is the classification of missile aerodynamics in terms of Mach number and angular vertex. So when angular vertex is greater than 10 or 20 degree, flow become high, flow become nonlinear. So we, we use the conventional CFD method in these regions. But if the angular vertex is bigger than 25 or 30 degree, it's not easy to predict aerodynamics using conventional CFD method. One of them is the asymmetric body vortex, which, which, which occurs around when the angular vertex is more than 25 degree and Mach number is less than less than two or subsonium region. And the other thing is that when Mach number is higher higher than 1.5, we can see some strong bow shock and its interaction with uh, the, uh, the body or shedding vortex and it's quite complicated. So this is motivation of my study. So, so I will use so I will use the pi effort to resolve high, highly nonlinear flow to capture such such a small scale vertical structure and predict aerodynamics dynamics more accurately. So now now I will show my numerical results. First one is subsonic flow around the missile base. Uh, uh, this is the Sheridan image of the supersonic projectile. As you can see here, there is a detailed vertical structure in wake region. When I solve this flow in REN simulation, we cannot cap we, we cannot capture detailed vertical structure, and this is the pressure con this trip pressure control at base surface, and as you can see here, there is a radial distribution in pressure distribution in pressure, so pressure is high in center of the base and it become lower, but when we conduct wind tunnel test and measure pressure the radial distribu distribution of pressure is almost the same. So, and when you compute the drag based on wind tunnel test and compare the safety results, there may be more than 50, 20 or 30% error. And actually, base drag is not small in total missile drag, so it may be a problem. So in this study, I will try to solve subsonic base flow. And recently I found the reliable experimental data by Mariotti. And this is the, his wind tunnel model. He measured the pressure and velocity around the fore body and base. And actually the random Reynolds number is quite low. The Reynolds number based on diameter is less than 10 to the 5, and Mach number is just 0.1. Mario also conducts some numerical study with VMS LES with same Reynolds number and DNS simulation with reduced Reynolds number. Although his numerical Simulation yields some error, which is less than REN simulation. But he found some relation between base pressure and size of recirculation. In his, exper in his experiment, he used the transition trip. So when he, without transition trip, the co pressure coefficient is about minus 0.16. But when you use this, transition trip one or two, then at that time, the, the recirculation 
size is is bigger and the pressure coefficient is also bigger. And his VMS re LES result and this is his DNS result. And we can see some linear linear proportional to the size of recirculation and pressure in base. So this is my problem setup. I conduct the world use of implicit large simula simulation with fifth order active flux construction scheme. And this is my mesh system. I use the quadratically curved tetrahedral mesh whose element is about 0.3 million. And this is the anim animation of crude criterion colored by velocity. And we can see that the pineapple can successfully capture detailed body structure in wake region. And I also compare the pressure distribution at base and the time, time and the average pressure, pressure coefficient is about minus 0.16. And this is the pressure control at base base surface. As you can see here, the pressure is almost constant, unlike the lens simulation. And this is the pressure coefficient in radial direction. And red line is experimental data, and lens, is, lens simulation result is blue one. There is, there is a big discrepancy between lens simulation and experiment. But when uh, this Gray one is pi per result, and which is the closest one compared to the experiment. And I also I also compare the recirculation region. This is the time average pressure control with streamline at wake region. And when I measure the size of recirculation here, is about 1.2 two times diameter, which is quite similar to the Mariotti's experiment. So during this simulation, I confirmed that pi FR can successfully resolve the detailed vertical structure in base flow and predict the base track more accurately. Now I will show another simulation result. Uh, this is the flow around the cylindrical body at high angle of attack. This figure shows some schematic flow structure of body vortex. If the angle of attack is very low, all flow is attached and there's no body vortex. But if the angle of attack is bigger than some value, and we can see some schematic vortex. If angle attack is bigger than some value, and we can see some asymmetric body vortex, which is quite similar to Kalman vortex shading. And this vortex shading is strongest in subsonic region. Some people said this phenomena as phantom neural because we don't know the onset mechanism of this body vortex shading. And one of the hypotheses that there may be a small grip in around this nose tip, even is very highly polished manufacturing. And these small tiny grip induce some asymmetry and finally make a asymmetric body vortex shedding. So that means that when you make another wind tunnel model and conduct wind tunnel simulation, the direction of the asymmetric vortex is different. And this asymmetric body vortex makes some strong side force and yawing motion. So direction of side force is random. So that's why we call it phantom yaw. One of our, our colleagues in ADD conducts some wind tunnel experiment 
and this is his wind tunnel model. And it's very simple. The, it has ozite nodes and body cylinder, and finest ratio of the, the ozite nodes is 3.5. And this is some of his experimental results. This is the normal force distribution along the angle of attack. And he changed the lower angle, he rotated his wind tunnel model. So this is, this is the lower angle. As you can see here, normal force is quite constant along the lower angle. But this is the size force distribution with respect to angle. And we can see that for some lower angle, the direction of side force is different. And also magnitude is also different. And in this figure, we plot the, the side force in certain angle of attack with respect to lower angle. When the angle of attack is about 46, we can see that when you rotate the model and the side distribution of side force is continuous, but the low angle is bigger than 50 degree, we can see that there may be a three, two or three table states and the distribution of side force is discrete. And so in this, in, in this study, I will try to reproduce this, this precise force distribution. So this is, mass, this is the problem set of my simulation. The Reynolds number is quite low and Mach number is just 0.1. And the angle of attack is 50 degree. And in this study, I fixed my mesh, but I changed the flow direction. So I changed the bank angle of the flow. And this is my mesh system. In here, I applied, I, I conducted world reserve the implicit radius simulation with post of accurate flux reconstruction. And the finest, finest ratio of nodes and bodies are 3.5 and 4 point respectively. And the number of elements of my mass system is about 0.6 million. And this is the looking for, this is the surface mesh of my surface mesh in looking forward. And here, for some numerical study, people use the some source model or, or some asymmetric device to make the asymmetric body vortex. But here, I don't use any kind of thing. I just use unstructured grid and maybe some un, uh, asymmetry of this unstructured grid is the, is the asymmetric body vortex. And this is the animation of Q criterion and we can see the detailed vertical structure of in wake region. And here I compare the normal and side force with, with respect to bank angle. For normal force, when you change the bank angle, the normal force, normal force is almost constant. But for the side force, we can, I can find three table states. One is this one. The magnitude of side force is about 0.25. And this two one is side force is almost zero. And this one is side force is magnitude of side force is about 0.5. And I also compare the sectional distribution of normal and side force um, in most force occurs around the nose, the ozite nose. And for normal force, the sectional distribution, of distribution, distribution is almost the same. But for side force, we can clearly, clearly see those three table states. 
like this red uh, purple and blue line, the size forces distribution of size forces is almost same, and this black and green one, the total magnitude of size force is almost zero, and this yellow one is the big, biggest size force one. And I also see the vertical structure. I compare the time average the Q criterion, and this is the bank angle is zero, 60, 200, 240, and 300. When the bank angle is three or 60, the, these two vertical structure is almost symmetric in, in front of nose, but it can slightly incline after mid nose. And the direction of bank angle zero and 60 is opposite. And the, when the bank angle is 240, there is these two vortex is very close and inclined in upward and which yield very big side force. And the, when the bank angle is 300, these two vortex structure is symmetric and it doesn't need any side force. Uh, I will skip these simulation results because of running out of time. So I will conclude my talk. Sorry. Uh, in this study, I've confirmed that PIFR can successfully resolve the highly nonlinear flow structure on the missile, like subsonic base flow and asymmetric body vortex shedding. But there are additional requirements to solve missile aerodynamics. One is the interaction of body and fin vortex. I think we need more powerful mesh generation system for higher CFT method. And the other thing is strong shock and its interaction. We need very strong shock capturing methods for higher methods. And final thing is the aerodynamic heating issue. Actually, we use the conventional CFT method to estimate aer aer aero heating, but it is not easy. So I think that high order method can resolve this problem. Thank you for my talk.